And I'd like to see us get to where government does three things, collect my taxes, defend my borders, help me with the infrastructure, and get the heck out of everybody's life. That should be our goal. Congressman Williams, so great to have you back on American Thought Leaders. Good to see you. Appreciate it. So, you know, you had a pretty powerful speech about the perils of socialism on the economy today. And I noticed uh, you also had a tweet which caught my eye, which was that the government should not be in the business of picking winners and losers. And I thought that was interesting, kind of to your point. Well, the government's pretty good at that through the, throughout history. And, and uh, what, what we mean by that is, is big government picks winners and losers. It, it, it pushes down, you know, opportunity to create new thoughts and to create more jobs and that sort of thing. And government needs to release regulations and let competition work. You know, the best thing for small business or any business is let the customer tell you if you're doing a good job, not have the government trying to tell you what to do. And consumers do that. So if you give good service and you have a good price and you have a good product, uh, people will buy from you. And I'd like to see us get to where government does three things, collect my taxes, defend my borders, help me with the infrastructure, and get the heck out of everybody's life. That should be our goal. So where are we at today, Can, you know, if you be compared to your yeah. goal here? Well, I think that we're seeing less government. Uh, the president is trying to reduce the burden of government. One of the things is the Dodd-Frank legislation and, for, and that really hurt community banks. A lot of that has been relieved. But, you know, we, we need to continue to pro, promote tax reform. We need to cut taxes even more. And when we cut taxes even more, we already see that we put more money in the hands of people. Uh, we're a consumption-driven nation, right? If we have money, we consume. When businesses like mine, big or large, make profits, we don't save money. We buy equipment, we hire more people, we do more research, and things grow. And that's called capitalism. And it's the greatest system in the world, and that's the one we're talking about today. You know, I, I've been asking everybody this uh, that I've been speaking with about, you know, the, the kind of accusation made against capula capitalism typically is that it's inhumane. It doesn't help the people yeah. at, the, at the bottom that might not be able to make it, might not have the, a way to make it. Well, we have the greatest standard of living in America now, but to say, to make, say capitalism's humane, capitalism is bringing people out of the bottom income level into the middle income, middle income, into upper income, because risk and reward is what it's about, where you can take risk and you can get reward. That's what built our country. So to think it's, uh, a bad thing for, for people to be able to make money, have a job. See, a socialist wants you to get a check from the government. Capitalists, we want you to get a check from the place you work. Socialism says we want to guarantee you something. Capitalism says we want to give you an opportunity. And that's the debate we're in. That's the debate we're, the, we're going to hear this summer and into the election year. And people will have an opportunity to decide, do they want to be on the, on the all-socialism team or the all-capitalistic team? So, and so how are things looking in your district? Well, we have a great district. Uh, we represent from uh, uh, the northern part down through center of, of, of Texas. Yes. Uh, my district is a diverse district. We, we have uh, Fort Hood, our military base. We have the University of Texas. We have Comanche Peak Nuclear Plant. We've got a Louis Vuitton workshop. It's very diverse. But most people in my district want the government out of their life, take regulations away, uh, let us spend our money like we want to spend our money. They totally uh, support President Trump and his and his agenda, uh, so, but it's, uh, it's like everywhere, we got every, both sides got to get the vote out. If we get the vote out, we're going to win, and uh, I think we'll do that. And so, Congressman Williams, what about these people that maybe, you know, for whatever reason, just don't have the ability to do that? Maybe they're disabled, or I, I don't yeah. know, there's, 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 there's folks that, uh, you know, who, who it would be difficult to kind of rise through the system like right. this. Well, those people that maybe uh, have physical defects or whatever, or, you know, uh, whatever may be their reason that they're physically not able to rise. I mean, uh, this country, uh, in fact, I saw a, a, a factor, a percentage of the day that, that we have the highest percent of, of, uh, uh, of disabled uh, working now than ever before. So okay. there's so many opportunities out there. and, and and, 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 and these folks uh, are like all of us. They want a job, they want to work. So the idea that those at the, i.e., the bottom level, which I don't like to even think about, can't rise, that's not, that's not, that's not true. America's a compassionate nation. America's a nation of opportunities. And people want to take those opportunities. And, and so I think it's a, great, it's a great chance for everybody, regardless of where you may fall today, to move even higher 
and reach dreams that you never thought you could could reach before. Uh, you know, we want to take uh, we want to take dreams into visions and visions into reality, and that's what we're doing a pretty good job of right now. Well, Congressman Williams, such a pleasure to have you back. Always good to see you. We love being on your show. Thank you.